So I just wanna do a quick video about the best cheap EDC pens. So that's the best affordable everyday carry pen. And uh, I drew up some quick definitions for what this means for me. Uh, so under $20, that's not cheap for everyone, but I think generally for something that's gonna last for years and years, uh, under, under $20 is okay. Uh, versatile, just something that's gonna work under a lot of different circumstances. It has to be reasonably tough, has to take a drop. You don't have to be able to use it as like a pry bar, but it can't uh, fall apart the first time you drop it. Uh, it has to be fun to have with you since it's gonna be part of the, what you carry every day. Can't be too flashy. You don't want it to be like, you know, something, uh, someone's gonna, you know, quote unquote, borrow and not give back. Uh, no fountain pens, they're just not practical to have every day with you. They don't write well under all circumstances, they bleed, so on and so forth. And then uh, it can't be too small and it can't be too big. It has to be comfortable without being huge. So uh, here goes, and I'm gonna just be, uh, this is gonna be like lightning round style. And I'm just gonna go in and out really quickly. Uh, first off, Zebra Sarasa Grand. It's a really nice pen, kind of a goofy clip, full metal body, uh, Sarasa gel ink, really good. Uh, this one sells for like 12, 13 bucks nowadays. I'm gonna keep that in. Uh, really good, this is a Parker Jotter. Uh, comes in special edition colors. It is a plastic base, the metal body. Comes with a Parker Quink, Quink Flow ink, which is uh, not that much fun to write with, but it works under all sorts of different circumstances. Keep that guy in. This is the uh, Oto, the uh, Horizon from Oto. All metal body, six dollars. Uh, really crazy firm click. That's fun. Uh, really nice to have around. And this is just a provisional round two. This is the Engineer Pen. It is a full metal. I don't believe it's brass, it might be aluminum, but maybe it's brass, hard to tell. It's a copy of the Rotring 600 Rollerball. It sells for about $15. It's not as quite nearly as nice as the Rotring, but pretty solid for an EDC pen. It's a little long. This is the Stabilio Worker. This is like a nice, maybe like three or $4 Rollerball. It is contoured. Nicely, it looks kind of cool. It, uh, I don't know what else to say. It's orange, which I guess is cool. And uh, it's grippy, which is nice. Uh, I'm gonna toss this one out just because I don't actually enjoy having that one around with me. It's a Jin Hao, uh, I believe this is the 250. It's a $4 fountain pen, it works really well. It writes really well. Uh, it's incredible that it could be $4, but doesn't survive to the next round because it is a fountain pen. This is the Caveco, spelled Caveco Sport Rollerball. It's a little bit on the small side. If it's unposted, it's actually not comfortable to write with. So it's too small like this. But if you have a cap posted, it's a nice pen. Uh, this is a gel pen. It's available in a clicky version. That's a rollerball. And I like this pen, but uh, I don't love it. So I'm gonna leave this one out just because it's right about $20. And if you add this clip, it is over $20. So uh, breaks that rule. And uh, it's not that tough, but I do like it day to day. Here is the Pentel Energel Alloy. It's a $6 all metal pen, uh, writes really well. And again, $6 for a full metal, it's crazy. This is the Pilot G2 Limited. It's full metal, has a nice weight to it, good click. It's a Pilot G2, just with a metal body. Uh, I think a lot of people will be well served by this pen just because it's really versatile, it's pretty tough, it looks uh, kind of classy. I actually don't really enjoy writing with this one, so I think a lot of people would say keep this in, but I'm gonna toss it out. This is the Z Emulsion from Zebra. Pretty much uh, all metal body, nice click action. Uh, really smooth ink, grippy pen area. So uh, I think this is a really nice pen for like the four or five dollars it costs. And uh, it's really undervalued. So throw that in there. This is the Fisher Space Pen with the plastic body. 
and a full Fisher cartridge. So uh, this thing will write anywhere, pressurize, it'll go upside down, write underwater, all that. And because it's the cheaper model, it's not the uh, full metal AG7, this thing uh, only costs about $6. So this is like a no-brainer for your DC pens. This is the Tornado from Retro 51. It's full metal, comes with a uh, Parker G2 style cartridge in there. I believe this comes with an ODA, O-T-O-Y-A maybe. And it's full metal, super classy looking, and it sells for $20. Maybe a little bit more, a little bit less, but I'm gonna call it $20. And this is in the Stealth Black Edition. I'll review this one later on. Super cool pen. Lastly, we have the Zebra F701. Uh, this is a modded one. I've done a guide on how you can get an F701 to have the metal clicker, metal clip, metal body, metal here, heavy base, and fit a uh, Fisher Space cartridge in there. This is pretty much the perfect EDC pen and it won my best ever EDC pen video I did maybe a year ago. Uh, so it's kind of cheating to have it in here, but the fact of the matter is this thing will cost you under $20 to put together. So it just, it's not stock. So you could say it belongs in here or not, up to you. So out of these pens, uh, it's hard to pick out a single best one, uh, but I would say, uh, you know, given some circumstances, uh, I'm gonna toss the engineer pen. It's just a little long. I don't really love writing with it. I'm gonna toss, this is a Sarasa Grand. This is really more of an executive pen to me than an everyday carry pen. Uh, the clip really bothers me. I, I couldn't look at this thing every day, even though I like writing with this pen. Uh, moving on, the next one to get killed off is uh, the Oto. This thing's hard to find refills for. Uses a needle tip, which I actually don't love day to day. And this click, while fun, uh, it's kind of loud. And it can be a little bit obnoxious, especially in a meeting or something like that. So what do we have left? The, uh, the Tornado, the Parker, sorry, the Fisher, Zebra, Pentel, and the uh, Jotter. So out of these, it's kind of a toss up. If you want a really solid gel pen for under $10, you have either the Pentel Energel Alloy or the Zebra. Between those two, I have to take the Pentel Energel. Just that it's a better ink cartridge in there. And I think the pen is better looking. Uh, out of the two ballpoints, I actually prefer the, uh, having trouble choosing, I actually prefer the uh, Space Pen. You know, it's really hard to go wrong with a jotter. It's got a nice click to it. Uh, I don't love the quick quink flow ink, but uh, between the two, I would definitely go with the space pen. It's also a little cheaper. And then, uh, so here are the three left. You have a uh, great ballpoint, great gel, and a classy executive style tornado. And uh, I would say just choose between your favorite there this one's about $7, this one's about $6, this is $20, but this is like incredibly nice for the money. So I have to say, I would probably give it to the Tornado. It's just a beautiful pen and it writes really well. It has that Toya, I believe it's a Toya ink. And again, just a beautiful pen and it should be way more than it is. Uh, if that's pushing the uh, price or size or uh, anything like that, and just not to your preference, then you have these two guys, and these are just great everyday carry pens. Uh, and uh, you know, for me, I want a gel. I could see how someone else would prefer a uh, ballpoint, just because it's more versatile. This is just a great everyday carry pen. And of course, you have the classic modded ZF701. So yeah, if you have any questions or comments, let me know, but that's the best cheap everyday carry pens. Thanks for watching.